it's a real privilege to be here today and a huge thanks to ECP for all the work they've done in um, organising today's event. I know time is really short. Um, I want to talk about the policing of sex work in Scotland and how that impacts on sex workers' health and safety. And I'm going to just choose a very narrow example to, to illustrate that. Let's do that. Louder still. Okay. So um, in Scotland, there's traditionally been like an east-west divide in how sex work is policed. In the west, where Glasgow's the main the main city, they've always adopted a kind of zero tolerance, hardline approach to enforcement of the sex work laws. And in Edinburgh in the east, they've traditionally adopted a harm reduction approach. So in the 1980s, Edinburgh City Council decided to license public entertainment venues as saunas. Um, sex was knowingly purchased and sold on the premises, um, but it was kind of not publicly acknowledged. Um, so the, the council adopted like a pragmatic approach. They recognised that licensing these saunas provided a safe place for, for women to work. It was just at the um, onset of um, HIV in the city, so it was also thought that having indoor premises enables um, sex workers to be in, in touch with healthcare providers. Um, and the system worked perfectly well for over 30 years until 2013 when we had a change in policing in Scotland and the newly formed Police Scotland decided that they would raid all the, the premises. They did this under the guise of trying to find victims of trafficking and also supposed links to organised crime. No victims of trafficking were found, no charges at all were laid for any other criminal offence but brothel keeping. Um, the police objected to the renewal of the licences, um, they used condoms as evidence of sexual activity taking place in the saunas and the, the city council revoked the licences. Um, so the, the city council put together what they called a harm reduction framework to try and manage the change in the system to ensure that the impact on sex workers was minimised. And they produced a report one year later called The Sex Work in Edinburgh, a Harm Reduction Framework Year One Progress Report. It was published on the 21st of April 2015 and it's available online. Anybody can access it. And I want to read to you some of the, the key conclusions that were, that, were, that were found in this report. Um, so a lot of the stuff I'm going to read out is, is, is testimony given by the NHS Women's Clinic. That's a national health service run um, health service for sex workers in the city. It's the only specialist uh, health service for sex workers. Um, and they say that NHS Women's Clinic reports that during the last year, it has become apparent that condom use among sex workers in Lothian is less than the previous year. There's been a slight increase in rates of sexually transmitted infections. Chlamydia increased by 2%, hepatitis B by 0.7%, and hepatitis C by 0.5%. In addition, the number of women attending the clinic service has decreased for the first time in eight years. There's no evidence that the number of women selling sex has decreased, but they are not attending for support from NHS loading as in previous years. So they go, they go on to say that the problem of unprotected intercourse may have been precipitated by fear of being found by the police to be in possession of condoms. Um, which can be used to indicate the selling of sex. NHS Lothian supplies condoms to saunas, but since Operation Windermere, many managers of these premises are reluctant to have condoms stored there. So women who are present when the outreach services um, attend, collect supplies, but if you're not working on that day, you have to store supplies yourself, and that could lead, lead to increased risk, risks of unprotected sex. The report also goes on to talk about um, other harms to sex workers, increase in social isolation, moving from a collective working environment to solo working, which yeah. is more dangerous. Um, so it, this, this just shows the, the, um, the current legal framework in Scotland, which is similar as, as to England and Wales, where brothel keepers criminalised, soliciting is criminalised, is wholly inadequate. In, in Scotland, we have just put proposals before the Scottish Parliament for a prostitution law reform bill. We want to repeal the soliciting and care calling laws, we want to repeal the brothel keeping laws, 
and follow the New Zealand model, create small owner-operated brothels where up to four sex workers can work, and then create a system of licensed brothels as well. The proposals have been lodged with the Scottish Parliament on the 8th of September, and they're out for public consultation. The deadline is the 1st of December. Please respond. Um, yeah, thanks very much. Thank you.